At some point in every firefighter's life, there was a moment where they decided to give back to the community, where they decided that helping others in peril was more important than their own safety, where they decided that late night and early mornings was better spent racing towards disaster than in a bed. This was the moment that every firefighter heard the calling. This year's Firefighter of the Year is a captain who has gone beyond just hearing the calling and has gone on to be the example for what a firefighter should be. I think the ideal firefighter, in my mind, first of all, embraces the core values of the Virginia Beach Fire Department, which are caring, honesty, integrity, and trust. And along with that, they uh, take the attitude that they're a lifetime student of this job. They take the time to learn something new every day. Uh, they take the time to teach the younger members of the department uh, th those techniques and tactics that they might not otherwise learn. Uh, this individual uh, has all of those characteristics, uh, not afraid to, to teach the young guy and, and not afraid to learn something new. So it's a, a well-deserved uh, accomplishment uh, to get this award. So if I could sum up this person in one word, it would have to be the Energizer. I mean, has anybody ever seen him quit? The guy just goes and goes and goes. I would say that when you put on the mantle of a firefighter, when you call yourself a firefighter, um, those are pretty big shoes to fill. Um, you have a responsibility to your coworkers, you have a responsibility to the public, uh, you have a responsibility to your supervisors. Um, many people refer to a firefighter as a hero. Uh, certainly we don't see ourselves that way and this individual absolutely would not claim to be that. However, in the eyes of many other people that you might speak about this person too, they would certainly recognize that quality or that trait in this individual. This year's Firefighter of the Year has worked many busy stations throughout his career where his impeccable work ethic love for the job, and sense of humor has left a powerful impact on everyone he has worked with. He's a caring individual. He's always pushing his, um, his people to go further, push themselves to be better. He's always looking downrange at the next obstacle, the next hurdle, and attacking it. And if there's anything I could really take away from his characteristic, what really defines him is his uh, sense of humor. I've never met a person that, la that can laugh so heartily over the littlest thing. And that humor can put it, a lot of people at ease and really release tension. He's just a great person to be around and work for. I'd say a couple of the things that this individual brings to the table are creativity, hard work, and I think the biggest thing is a love for the job and enthusiasm for the job that makes other people want to improve on themselves as well. He was chosen to lead in delivering training to new recruits and the department alike. He reports each day with a positive attitude that resonates to all members of the fire training staff. Uh, this individual has uh, consistently exemplified uh, the great things about the fire service. A true tenet uh, that this individual has is that mentoring, coaching, leading capability with our recruit process. He is uh, instrumental in making sure that our recruits are trained in the most professional manner possible and they are set up for success as they move forward in our department. Uh, he is a true leader uh, as evidenced uh, with the, uh, the recent Cavalier training exercise, high rise training that we did at the ocean front uh, this past year. He was instrumental in getting that program up running. He was there every day making sure that the, the crews were safe and uh, got the most out of that training exercise. Not getting that sort of building very often uh, in our careers, that was, uh, he was an instrumental part in making that a success. So just, uh, just with a, a few things like that that, uh, that I speak to, uh, it is truly uh, my honor uh, and privilege uh, to present uh, our Firefighter of the Year to Captain Ray Irizarry. As a recruit firefighter, when you come into the department, you really don't have a strong understanding of what brotherhood, sisterhood, that family atmosphere is all about. And if you're lucky, at some point in your career, you get that shift that you hope never gets separated. 
Um, and to have that happen um, when you get closer to the end of your career, it makes it that much more special. But I just wanted to say thank you very much for making it happen now. And congratulations, Captain Irizarry. So I'd like to say, Ray, congratulations. More importantly, thank you uh, for all that you've done for me and with me. It's been a true pleasure all these years uh, working with you. Ray, I really enjoy the fact that you're a great family man, you're a great husband, you're a great father, you take good care of your family, and uh, I think that's really important. And uh, if I could just uh, leave you with one lasting impression. When I think of Ray Irizarry, this is what I think of. How about you? You ever seen this guy before? Captain Irizarry has always been a man of uh, his word. He has always been one that you can look up to for guidance. He's always been one that will put his arm around you, laugh, and make you feel better about yourself in, in a situation. I've been very fortunate to, to have worked for him. I look forward to maybe in the future working with him again. Captain Irizarry, congratulations on being Firefighter of the Year. I'm very proud to have worked for you. Thank you. Congratulations, Ray. You've certainly earned this. Uh, you have the respect of the department, and it is an honor to uh, be able to work with you. Ray, uh, well-deserved. Uh, couldn't think of anybody better to, to take this away this year. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's been a pleasure working with you uh, there at the training center. And I think you get a free weed eater or something out of this deal for a tight wad like you. I think that's, uh, that's a good thing. So uh, get your weed eater or your chainsaw and steel sponsoring this uh, award, I believe. So uh, they got good tools and I'm sure you'd be happy with it, especially since you don't have to pay for it. It is with great pleasure that we would like to present Captain Ray Irizarry as the 2015 Firefighter of the Year.